Greeting fellow modelers, in part six, we'll be looking at building the radome and building the structure for the main wing and tail empennage. Let's begin. So, after we cut out the parts for the radar dome and we cut out the formers, it's now time for the assembly. Trust the exacto blade. We then cut some strips of bond sheet. Use our trusted toothpick to roll the sheet to form our radome. And as you can see, this is how I typically form the panels for the main fuselage. It's the same process I use to form the radar dome. We just make sure we take our time and use a tweezer, be it needle nose or flat beak, to hold the parts in position until they dry. And the glue I use is found on Amazon is the Aline's Tacky Glue so that drying takes less than 30 seconds. Then we use our toothpick to form a pitot tube. Nice. And once we get that into place, we use our tweezer to hold the shape. Now, it's time to join the segments together. Here we just make sure that the parts are aligned, we wipe off the excess glue, we carefully push the parts together and then we use the former to hold the shape, the correct shape of the radome. We repeat the process until we build it out. Again, making sure to align all the joints. Press in place with our tweezer and insert another former. Now, this section here is in two parts. We use our paintbrush handle and then we cut out that bottom section, which we will join to it. So again, pay attention to that part because it comes in two parts. The thing about your kit is that it comes with pictures showing every step which would make this totally easy for you to follow along and also build. And here we install it and no matter how much time it takes for you to go around with your tweezer to make sure the joints are formed, do so. Then you put the shapes in and super glue. This part here, you take careful precaution. Take precaution when installing the former. And there you have it. We're now carefully assembling the nose. Use only the tacky glue until it holds a shape and there you have it. Our F-16 comes alive. Now, this is what I love about putting in the stabilizers and the ventral fin. The bright orange look. It's totally unique, this color scheme. Quite like it. Here we're cutting the rib for the stabilizer. using a ruler to fold the stabilizer panel. Flat surface used to make sure the joints are straight. And then we put the rib in place. Hold it with super glue. Now here is where now we puncture both the stabilizer and the fuselage insert a toothpick at the proper angle 
because this is what will now hold the stabilizers in place. And there you have it. We do a final check to make sure it's at the proper angle. Super glue in place and there you go. The way how he did the ventral fins is quite ingenious. So we make a slot and into this slot we'll put the former in the proper location and then he made a template so that you'd get the correct angle at which the ventral fins supposed to be canted outwards. Once we establish the proper part we super glue so it stays firmly in place. We fold along the lines where we're supposed to fold the ventral fins and then we put into position. nice let's clean this up perfect and there you have it now let's go on to building the main wing structure as mentioned before the diagrams and the explanation in how to build this kit is totally provided by you of as a pictorial drawing which is really really helpful so we cut our parts out and then as you can see we put the whole thing together bit by bit i want to thank each and every one of you so far so much for the incredible encouragement i've been getting on how to further improve what i'm showing on a weekly basis and I promise you so much more to come that you may be particularly interested in. So stay tuned to the channel. And if you haven't before, please consider subscribing. And if you have, thank you so much for your support. As you can see, once we get this part done and we're assembling it, particular care must be taken when joining the wing framework to the fuselage. It's really important to carefully look on each and every part that you put in place. And yes, the wing framework might look flimsy but I guarantee you, once you follow the plan and you do everything it says, you would be surprised at how strong the structure is. Well, this will be it for today. I hope you enjoyed what you see so far. Stay tuned because in the future, I have some exciting announcement to make on how we're going to radically bring so much more for you to see and enjoy in this world of building paper aircraft. So until then, my friends, take care, walk good, relax, and above all, my friends, one love.